Hey gang, Will here from the Ashland Fly Shop with a fishing report for you for the first part of May. And what a great time of year. We love this time of year. We've got just some beautiful weather happening this week and really all of our fisheries are just transitioning into uh, you know, into that uh, early uh, spring, summer fishing, and it's just a great time. Lots of good stuff to do. So we're gonna hop right into it here and we're gonna talk about the Upper Rogue first. So the Upper Rogue, it's transitioning out of steelhead fishing for sure. Are we happy to see it go? Yes, for a few weeks we are. We get pretty happy to say goodbye to uh, difficult winter steelhead fishing, uh, speaking for myself anyway, and uh, moving into, into trout fishing. Um, and uh, so we got a little bit of flow change. We had some extremely low flows there uh, around April, mid-April, and they bumped them up a bit to about 1,600. I was just talking to someone from ODF and W last night, and they were saying that um, they were able to uh, release some water um, a little bit on the earlier side, so they, they're not like 100% full, which is good for them. They don't, if they're 100%, then they don't, then they have to match inflow with outflow. So if we, whatever uh, pulse water we get um, coming off the mountain, they have to match it coming out of the dam. So that bodes well for our salmon fly hatch. Typically, we see fairly high flows during the salmon fly hatch, which makes it kind of difficult to wait around there. So I kind of think that that's going to help us um, with the higher flows that we sometimes see during that time. So. Flows are about 1,600 right now, um, and I expect them to be somewhere around there. That would be a very comfortable flow. The river from the hatchery downstream, uh, it opens for trout May 22nd. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, it opens May 22nd. That's when we can really start targeting trout, which is perfect because it coincides right at the beginning of the salmon fly hatch, and it's just... Uh, just crazy. It can be very, very excellent fishing. We've been talking about it quite a bit. We'll continue to uh, really a good time to fish. The Holy Water and the Upper River, uh, excuse me, uh, right below the dam, the Holy Water section, now that can start a little earlier. So you might want to poke around up there starting around the 15th of May. Um, that can be a pretty good time to start looking for salmon flies and looking for trout action up there. But even now, swinging streamers, um, you know, sometimes we get a little bit of caddis, uh, early caddis hatch happening up there. So uh, that's a good thing to, to pay attention to up there. But that's basically what's going on with the upper rogue. Really no steelhead fishing happening now. Anything would be very, very late. Um, and we're just transitioning into that uh, trout time. Upper Klamath follows a really similar uh, trajectory as the Rogue. It does have a salmon fly, stone fly hatch. We see a few more golden stones down there. Boy, it has been really hard to predict that hatch in the last uh, several years and just kind of talk about when you might really see those bugs down there. Um, but it, you can pretty much feel confident that it's going to be about the same. The water's typically warmer. It warms up quicker, so those bugs get going quicker. So we probably will see them um, on the earlier side. Even in the next week or so, you might do a drift down through that upper section and see uh, see what, what you find down there. And that would be from Iron Gate Dam down to Klamathon. We don't see a lot of salmon fly, stone fly action below Klamathon Bridge. For whatever reason, I don't think there's a higher trout or steelhead population down there. I think it's uh, uh, mostly packed into that upper end and there's more, um, more density of trees and bushes and stuff and that's what salmon flies like. So we do see a fair number of people kind of fishing down there, that hatch, it's worth doing. You just gotta watch the flow, uh, the water temps, they jump up pretty quickly um, as we get closer to June. Um, but, uh, but that can still be pretty good. I know we've fished down there as late as like middle June, 10th of June. Um, and, uh, but that's always starting to feel like it's just about the end of it. So that's the upper Klamath. We'll talk a minute about still water, a very good bet, uh, for this time of year. If you have a float tube, a pram, uh, something like that, this is a very good time to be poking around at our, uh, higher mountain lakes like Howard Prairie or Hyatt Lake. Uh, Lake of the Woods, I do hear some people fishing up there a little bit and having some success. Uh, that water is, uh, that lake's a bit deeper, a bit cooler, I always feel, and I, I just don't feel it has that same real burst of activity in the spring like Howard Prairie or Hyatt can. And that's fairly short-lived, so I would get on that. I would get up there and fish your still water, um, still water tactics up there. Look for shallow water drop-offs, you know, things like that. Typical kind of lake fishing. 
uh, still water fishing and uh, pulling leeches, things like that. Um, but the trout population, the holdover trout populations will be on the move and it could be very good fishing. Uh, in the last couple years, um, since there's been water in those lakes, um, it's, been, uh, it's, it's been pretty good the last couple years. So, um, so those are good ones. Haven't really heard a peep from Diamond Lake. Uh, obviously it gets going a little later because it's such higher elevation and um, so much cooler, but um, I expect to any time. That can also really blow up quickly and just be outstanding fishing. So we'll start hearing about Diamond and talking about that a little bit, but Stillwater Fisheries, uh, be a good bet. Klamath Lake I didn't mention, but uh, always a very good early bet around that Rocky Point area. A couple of our guides have been fishing over there and, and doing pretty well um, on the early end. So, so that, is a, that is a good bet as well. So still water fishing. If, if you enjoy still water fishing, it's a good time to do it. So a couple little clarifying things, what's open, what's not. Um, the Wood River has opened. Um, that's a late April opener. That's a little bit of a tricky fishery, a um, lot of private property, not a lot of walk-in, but you know you can motor up and look for some, uh, motor up out of Agency Lake and you can look for some fish. Obviously there's really no migrating fish at this point, uh, but uh, we will start seeing those fish move in there. But there's always some resident fish in there and it does have a decent brown population. So if you have a, if you have kind of an in there or you have a, you know, a, way, a way to get in there and fish or float or something, um, the Wood River is good. Good to check out. Uh, the Upper Williamson, I mean Upper Upper, uh, up above the marsh there, um, that's, uh, that is open as of the last part of April and that can be some decent good fishing at the early part of the season uh, going into very good fishing. That is a tricky place to fish too. There's a lot of uh, private land up there and um, but it's uh, that can be good and that that is open. The Williamson below the marsh, the classic uh, water that we're familiar with um, above the lake there uh, through the town of Chiloquin and stuff that does not open till May 22nd so that's always an important thing to understand. Um, but once that's open, we expect that to fish really good as it does all summer. Um, so that's a heads up on uh, some of those local fisheries. Well, if you follow along with the shop at all, you know we love to fish Northern California. It's just over the hill um, around Mount Shasta. It's a really wonderful, wonderful place to fish. We're always encouraging people to get down there and fish, get your license, go check it out. It's absolutely, absolutely worth doing. Um, and a lot of uh, stuff has just opened up at the last part of April. So we have the McLeod River open now, kind of the crown jewel of Northern California trout fishing. Um, Hat Creek, again, right in there with it, another wonderful place to fish. Um, Fall River, which is a little bit tricky with the private land. You kind of got to have a boat and stuff, but it's also a wonderful, wonderful fishery down there. Um, so several, uh, several rivers have opened. The Upper Sacramento, as you may know, is open all year. Pitt River's open all year. Um, so boom, that whole, that whole area around the flank of Shasta um, is open now. And what's it like early? It can be, it can be very early. You know, we have had a, a, a decent amount of snowpack, not great, but I do expect to have some runoff. We're gonna see it in May probably. So we'll see the upper sac bump up. I, I kind of doubt we'll see the McLeod bump up too much. McLeod is a tailwater, the lower McLeod. Um, Hat Creek, you know, that's a spring creek, so that'll be the same uh, all through the season. So, so that's a good bet there. But, um, but the early season fishing down there, I would say the McLeod is really one to look at. That's where you can see a few more hatches, uh, a little bit more dry fly fishing happening there as we go to about the middle of June, late June. Um, lots of kind of complex mayfly hatches early on, um, and the nymph fishing can be, can be, very, can be very good. The upper sac, it also has a decent amount of hatches too. It can be some interesting stuff, some green drakes even down there, some golden stones, which tend to be really on the early end. I always feel like the stones happen down there during runoff, which is kind of kind of crazy, but um, but it's worth worth looking at. I have uh, you know kind of stumbled into some good hatches down there, and then some you know some decent mayfly hatches. PMDs get going and they last into summer a bit, so. And then, as you probably know, it's just a phenomenal nymph fishery down there too. As we get into, you know, early summer into midsummer, um, so Upper Sac, uh, a good bet, but a little bit more inconsistent. Maybe early McLeod, probably more consistent. Hat Creek, 
what can you say? Just a phenomenal fishery, um, very good early, um, really would be fishing it right from opening day, right into the middle of June. Um, can be some very good hatches in the wild trout section. The lower section of the, of the wild trout area uh, going into the lake can, can be excellent. Uh, the powerhouse riffle in the flats, they've done a ton of work down there. It's beautiful down there. Uh, Cal Trout's done an amazing job of, of uh, rehabilitating that stretch. Just beautiful in there. Hecri's one of my favorite places to fish. Um, so that's a very good early, uh, very good early bet. Lots of very complex mayfly hatches, some salmon fly hatches, and just some beautiful, beautiful fish in there. Um, Pitt River, I don't hear too much about. Um, I have fished it in years past quite a bit. It's always a very good bet for nymph fishing since the flows have been up. I just don't hear much about it, but um, but I know it's a very good fishery. You just got to kind of watch yourself wading around in there, but it would also be uh, a very good bet um, for nymph fishing as well. Um, boy, and that's kind of my early, kind of my early season wrap on that, you know, on those fisheries down there, but can't be a better time to be down there poking around. Um, really, really good time to be fishing, uh, fishing that area in Northern California. Myself, I'll be down there shortly and start ga gathering some firsthand information. So, um, so do yourself, a, do yourself a favor and get down there and do some fishing. That's pretty much what we got. Happy opening day, everyone. It's a little bit uh, less, a uh, little bit anticlimactic. I remember when I was a kid, it was uh, just something that I just looked forward to so much. Opening day it was like a big event, but now we have so many rivers open. Of course, I love the opportunity to fish during the, you know, during the winter and all these different fisheries, and it's so so much fun. But I do feel a little bit like you know I miss that big opening day thing. So um, if you've had an opening day, if you always keep that on your calendar, good for you. That's such a great time to go out and camp out early, get rained on, have cold nights. <laughs> it's a really fun time. So if you had a great opening day, cheers. Here's to you, and uh, lots of good fisheries open now. So it's time to. Time to dust off those trout rods and get after it. So thank you so much for tuning in to this long fishing report. And uh, please give us a call if we can uh, update any information for you. We're happy to help.